What's up guys, Chris Chavez here with JoyStrike.com. Today I have a home screen replacement app. It's called VLauncher and it comes to you courtesy of Voyager Apps. Now what this does is it will replace the home screen, the stock Android one that you have now or whichever home screen you're using, um, with all the widgets and icons that you move around, your app drawer and all that crazy stuff. If all that's a little too much for you, and uh, maybe you're coming from an iPhone and you're used to just having just all your apps displayed and just cycling through them and, and selecting them, then this app might be for you. Um, I know there's a lot of Android people out there are going to think that this app is really stupid, but I think it's actually kind of handy. Um, once my mom gets an Android phone, I'm probably just going to install this onto her phone just to make her life a whole lot easier. Uh, she doesn't need to worry about widgets and assigning and organizing her home screen. Uh, she just needs to see all of her apps and just be able to select them quickly and easily and that's what this app lets you do. So sit right there and I'm going to show you guys my review on it. Alright, let's go ahead and open up V-Launcher, the iPhone-esque type home replacement. So you get it all loaded up there. Uh, you can see here it's just basically one big app drawer but you just swipe between them. Um, the home screens to just display all of your apps and stuff. Uh, it's supposed to mimic the iPhone, which is kind of neat uh, for some people that maybe just find that the home screen is just a little too complicated and hard to use. Or maybe you're just really used to the iPhone and you just like the fact that you just have all your apps there and stuff. Um, you can actually set it up that you do have widgets in this, unlike the iPhone. Um, you could add uh, folders. You can also, here in the settings, uh, use a wallpaper if you'd like. Um, I don't really want to do that. You can set up a widget screen, like say the first screen. All right, go ahead and restart VLauncher. And the first screen right here will be used for widgets. And you can put say like the analog clock here. Um, yeah, kind of simplifies the home screen a little bit. Um, it's always nice to have options. Uh, my only complaint with this is that uh, scrolling, as you can see, isn't really too smooth. It's just kind of um, definitely not as smooth as the iPhone. I would have liked to have seen maybe it using the phone's GPU and just having like a smooth 60 frames per second um, scrolling. Like as if it was just a flat polygon and these apps are just on top of it. Um, you just see it just like kind of appears. Uh, or maybe some type of kinetic scrolling with like a bounce effect and stuff that like a lot of the new um, launchers have. If it just has something like that, like say ADW or Launcher Pro, I think I'd actually kind of like it a lot more. And um, I think most people that were actually used to maybe the iPhone, they would actually maybe use it. It's just a little weird and kind of strange that it just kind of, I don't know, flicks through so quickly. Um, it's almost just like it just appears, uh, kind of frustrating. Uh, you can add wallpapers like I showed you before, you can add some folders, uh, settings, feedback, and then you, of course you can exit. So uh, yeah, if you just find that the stock Android home screen is a little too complicated for you, you might want something like this, uh, pretty simple and easy to use, but um, just not really too smooth, not really that smooth at all. Okay, so that was V Launcher by Voyager Apps. Um, you can see that it's kind of cool as far as simplicity goes. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. A lot of people like Android and being able to customize their home screens, but some people just find it a little too complicated. Uh, I have a friend, for one, who used to have an iPhone and went over to Android, and uh, he just kind of thinks that it's just too hard to manage a home screen, and he would just like to have uh, an app, apps, all his apps displayed and stuff, and just be able to cycle through them. So. I guess this is kind of cool for him. Uh, some points that I would like to make to the developer of this app is it would be really cool if it moved as smooth as the iPhone. Um, iPhone, as you know, is just so buttery smooth and stuff. So um, I don't know if the developer wants to maybe just make a whole new, uh, just to totally redesign it and use OpenGL. If it used the GPU on the phone, it would scroll so smooth and awesomely. Uh, it would just be really great. Either that or just uh, maybe allowing the home screens uh, to be cached onto the SD card. I know that helps a lot with the uh, 
smoothness of them scrolling and stuff. So my only complaint was, yeah, just the whole smoothness. It was a little choppy when scrolling. It kind of moves a little too fast. Maybe uh, being able to adjust the scrolling speed would actually be pretty cool too. So uh, that's just my two cents. Uh, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching my review, and I'll see you guys next time on joyshark.com. Uh, thanks for watching.